Over to St. Landry Parish, a 20-year-old cold case is now the subject of a documentary from Cold Case Files. News 10's Zane Hoag shares the story of the Brenda DuPont murder. In May of 1988, Brenda DuPont was found murdered in her home, sparking the beginning of an investigation that would not be solved for over 20 years. With the investigation now the subject of a cold case documentary series, I spoke with the police chief at the time, Perry Gallo, and investigator Dwayne Grimmett, who recalled the experience and the significance of finding closure for the family. We were determined to do our best, and, and, and that message was consistently given. Gallo says while he was on the campaign trail for chief of police, he focused on the needs of the community to make improvements in office. The family of Brenda DuPont was a major part of discussion as DuPont's murder was still unsolved nearly 20 years after her body was found in her home with multiple stab wounds and evidence of sexual assault. When Gallo took office, he was determined to find closure. I wanted to find someone to be able to look at these cases, someone with the commitment and the focus to do so. And of course, in my view, that was Dwayne Grimmett. In speaking to Grimmett, he says a primary suspect in the initial investigation, Janelle Rubin, had initially been ruled out of the case due to a lack of evidence. However, as time passed and technology improved, Grimmett says evidence from DuPont's body following the sexual assault pointed back to Rubin. When it came time to question Reuben, Grimmett says Reuben was already in custody for another domestic abuse charge. I went back and I talked to him again, uh, talked to the suspect again, and uh, he indicated that still, you know, same thing, that he didn't know her, never was around her. Uh, he, he even told me that he was in jail at the time that the incident happened. A claim that would be proven false after crime lab results came in confirming Reuben's DNA on the body of Brenda DuPont. The ultimate result was a DNA match of Janelle Reuben. 24 years after the murder of Brenda DuPont, the case is finally closed, and Gallo says the greatest achievement is proving that justice can be found no matter how long it takes. It's a sense of uh, uh, gratitude to all of those involved, but at the same time, letting the public know that regardless of how long uh, it takes, that law enforcement uh, has a job, and that job is to get to the bottom of things and determine who's responsible for certain crimes and make sure those, those individuals are, uh, are brought to justice. The full investigation can be explored in depth on Cold Case Files, which is viewable online. Zane Hogue, KLFY News 10.